Hello, gorgeous. You're listening to the Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over podcast, and I'm your host, Kayla. If you are just listening for the first time, then I want to say hello and welcome to my platform. And as always, if you are a returning listener, hey, sis, welcome back. So in today's episode, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about something that can totally help you shift your mindset. If you follow me on socials, whether it's in the Plot Twist community group or on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, then this month we are going to be really focused on mindset, mindset changes, and we're going to end the month with a mindset makeover masterclass. It's Mindset 2.0 because I've learned so much since I taught that class a year ago. So today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things to help you shift your mindset, and that is music. So if you've known me even for just a little bit, you guys know that I am a singer. Music is literally the rhythm of my soul. Like I love it. And so I always encourage my clients to create a playlist, whether that's on YouTube, Apple Music, if you use Spotify, no matter what, create a playlist that makes you want to move your body. A playlist that you know is going to have a positive impact on your life. Uh, Missy Elliott says, music make you lose control, right? And that's because it can impact you. We've all had music where we've been moved to tears, or we've had music where you really can't help but to dance. So whether that is Michael Jackson, whether that is Outkast, whether that's Kendrick Lamar, like whoever it is, get you a playlist together. Once you have established your playlist, I often tell my clients to create or to select an anthem. Like, what era are you in? Taylor Swift is big on that, right? She's during the era's tour right now. She's getting ready to go overseas. But create an anthem for the era that you're in. And your song doesn't have to be new. So, like, this week, I have been blasting Ariana Grande, thank you, Nix. And think what you want to about Ariana. I know she's in a whole lot of hot water right now in the media. However, comma, the girl has pipes. Like, she has vocals that rival that of Mariah Carey. Argue with your mama. I'm just saying. And so, in thank you, next, basically, Ariana is singing my life story, except for that little bit at the end where she's talking about drama with her daddy. I don't know what she's talking about, girl. I ain't got that. But <laughs> Ariana, she kind of chronicles a series of romantic relationships where she's kind of searching for herself and someone else. And she explains how each person has taught her something different. And instead of harboring resentment or anger or dread or all of these feelings around it, she is grateful for the lesson. So whether that was Um, one taught me love, one taught me pain, one taught me joy, one taught me loss, like all of these things. Basically, she's just like, thank you, next lesson. Like, thank you, next. Thank you, next. And so that has kind of been my mentality. Like way before I knew about Ariana Grande, I could have harbored, I could have wallowed in slop. People say to me all the time, Kayla, it's amazing to me that you still believe in love and you still believe in marriage and you still believe in all of these things after everything you've been through. And I have just resigned to the fact that just because I had not identified it yet, just because I hadn't found it yet, didn't mean it didn't exist. It just was not in the form that I expected it or that I wanted it to be. It took, like Ariana says in the song, it took me learning to love me, learning to accept me learning to process pain, learning to process hope, joy, learning to go through the motions of it with myself, recognize my value. And then I kind of elevated who I was. So I elevated the type of people that I was able to attract. So create a playlist, find an anthem, and then find your girl on social and share it with me. Let me know who it is. Let me know what the song is so that I can create a playlist of my audience's songs. So I'll kind of know what your your job is. I'm totally down for that. So I love you, girl. I want the best for you, girl. I'm going to keep this one super short. I cannot wait to see you soon. And I cannot wait to see your transformation. Have a great one.